Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Jedi Oshi. It's Friday, January 21st, 2022. We're looking at Bitcoin. We're looking at charts. I wanted to show you guys some key levels, some patterns, a mindset idea, and that's about it. We had, um, we broke down our old, our recent wick low at 39.6 overnight. It's been pretty red. Equities under pressure as well. So all markets are kind of under sell pressure right now. And I wanted to show you in video form what I posted in the Telegram. But, um, you know, we came down to, once again, broke this old wick low at 39.6. We came down to this range here, which is another kind of local floor at 30, 38.2 or lower. I think we broke 38. We did break 38. I, I talked about, thir or I pointed out about 36. That's that level right there. See that? An old ceiling. Below that, you have some of these levels, but um, <clears throat> that's that's 30. And this is why we, we've we drawn this on a lot of the live streams, um, is to you know point out this level at 30. Um, so, is the bottom end? It could be. It could not be. But if it's not, then we have levels at 38. We have some some old uh, resistance. And do we need to test that to turn it to support at 36? Or do we go to 30? So that's that on the daily. On the weekly, I want to show you this old area of support. Right here at about 32. So keep an eye on that. That's an interesting level. It was um, our floor in the summer, at least on the candle body. So do we need to come down here before we spring out and get uh, a retracement with alt season? Um, it's likely. Not, not, or it's sorry, it's not likely, it's probable. It's possible. Um, you know, so we'll see. We're just gonna keep slow grinding down and, and then find support here. Yeah, we could. How will alts do during that time period? Not well at all, you know, but um, that's it for levels. Let's look at patterns. Let's go back to the daily. What I showed you guys last night was, and this is before we broke down and made low, but look at these older patterns and it was three of them. Two were pretty good. One was, eh, whatever. But so the three patterns, it started at the beginning. The summer ending pattern was a drop to its low, a move back up, and this was to the 618 of this range. That's why we were looking at that in live streams and other, other videos there. Uh, but a move back up, and then a bleed, followed by spring. Okay, so then you have the two corrections in September. You had a wick down, a move back up. Now this wasn't as pronounced, but it was another dip, and then, and then a, a, a spring. It didn't follow through, but that reminds me of that. The third one is this one right here. So a dip down, a move back up, and then a slow bleed, followed by spring. So that's what I was looking at before we broke down here was, you know, and saying that, hey, if this is it, we've seen this before, you know, in these patterns. So you have a dip, a move back up, a bleed, and then a spring. You know, so, you know, looking at the pattern, basically saying, like, guys, if this is it, then this is what it has looked like in the past. And so, not it wouldn't be that surprising to see it again. But we broke that level, so now we're looking at, we're looking at levels below. But, um, you know, I wanted to point out really one thing. So, you know, you're thinking, okay, what do I do? What's there to do? Do I take protection and try to buy lower? And you can, you gotta do, you gotta run your business, right? You have to make decisions for your business and and um, and decide what you need to do for yourself. So no, don't ever let anyone else, you shouldn't ever let anyone else dictate what you do for your business, right? So um, just to point out, you know, what are the signals in the market? You know, if we have, there's this, if we're following a system, what is it saying to do? Well, we know that here, 
in this area of 69. A higher high, lower RSI, you break. That's a short signal, right there. The long signal is the reverse. You break up, on break. Now it did give us it did give us a signal here, but we got faked out. It was a fake out. Break up in price, break up in RSI, long. If you're trading this like a trader, you're running your stops, you get stopped out. You know, I showed that to you in some equity trades I've been making. Um, I took longs on signals, as you do. You set your, you fix your risk going in. You set your stop. You try to manage your stop, and then you get stopped out. So um, we're not getting it right now. My point is, we don't have a, we don't have a buy signal yet. And until we do, you know, you're underneath this. I mean, that was a, that was a buy signal there. It was a failed buy signal. So you're under, you're under the sell signal here. And until we come out of it, you know, it's under, we're under a sell signal. So I am expecting continued pressure until when? Until it ends. Until we, until we get a buy signal. And that's just the reality. So just know that we, we broke this level at, at 39.5. We came down and, and tested sub 38. The next levels are 36 and 30. So. The other point is this, guys, this is when, this has been painful because we had a lot of, you know, portfolios at high le higher levels, we had things were running, we had, you know, um, things were bullish. And right now, things are not, they're the opposite. All markets are, are under pressure, the, um, um, it's just we can't get relief, it's just red every day, right? So just know this, this last four or 5%, whatever it is, down into here, if we, if we can find bottom and, and get retracement, this is when people give up. They can't take it anymore. They throw in the towel, you know? So, you know, there's a, there's a decent chance, we're looking at probabilities, there's another fractal pattern that has this, you know, we put in, a, we find a floor at 36, And then we, we gotta grind down and then we do the slow grind up. And that and this is when alts decouple. And you know, Bitcoin gets green again. But it's in a slow grind pattern. Alts decouple and alts finally finally run. But it's at that point, and we've talked about this many times, but it's at that point where it would be very advisable to be taking protection. So let's just let's just call this okay. Thirty six. We'll we'll say the bottom's at thirty six. Okay. If we get a retracement, there's the point five, the fifty three, the six one eight, the fifty six, and there's the seven zero two. I don't know about the strength of the market getting back to the seven zero two, but I'm looking at point five and six one eight seven seven zero two as a range here. Okay, so. We can get this turnaround. We can get this up. You know, I'm gonna be looking to get out of everything up here. You know, and we'll see if this. You know, we get breakdowns and the other signals, right? So we'll see. But that's kind of the 411, guys. On, I mean, there's nothing else. To, there's not a whole lot else to look out at. You have a lot of it's just right across the board. There are um, some things to be watching for on the buy side. Um, posted this last night but some of this I believe the strong alts will be the prime movers once we do turn around makes sense things like Luna AVAX Solana FTM uh, I don't know if KDA is in there whatever right so you're looking at look at that video from yesterday where it just scrolls through charts it's just one chart after the other it's pretty easy after you see that to point out which charts were under a um, growth mode at strength in which charts you were waiting for something to happen. That's my play, the way I see it. Um, there are other ways to look at it, like um, some of these really low and beat up coins that haven't moved. Um, that's, you know, it's up to you on how you want to do it. But um, anyways, that's today's video, guys. Enjoy it. Please like the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please share Jedi Oshi and what we're doing. We're trying to learn to read charts to help people
think for themselves and to become traders. And enjoy your Friday, and we'll talk to you next time.